also known as Donostia, where I studied abroad six years ago, and I get to take Chase around and give him a tour. So we're going to do a tour of the city. I'm going to walk him where I walk to school every day, along the beautiful promenade by the beach, and then we're going to go to Pinchapote tonight. This is the building I lived in when I studied abroad, and like one of these was my room. I don't know which one. That is where I taught English to middle schoolers at that school right there. And this was my little favorite coffee shop here. This is like a potato. I don't know. I have the recipe at home. When I taught them at the middle school, they sent me with some recipes, but I had it. Sebastian famous cheesecake. What do you thought? Good. It's like a hearty cheesecake. Delicious. I really like it. breakfast right now. Chase has decided to eat cake for breakfast. I'm having coffee and a little bit of this cake. We're gonna go walk around La Concha Beach. La Concha Beach, San Sebastian, Spain. We walked around this morning and that was super fun. We are going to a cideria, which is like a cider house. The Basque are known for making a really good hard cider. So we get like an all you can eat like traditional meal and then we get to drink cider straight from the barrel.
We're out here at Playa La Cancha, having a beach day. had to switch beaches because there was like a jellyfish issue at the other beach. So we're letting anyone swim and we were really wanting to swim. So we came to the other beach. Playa Zariola. They say it with us. Zariola. But it got a little cold on the walk over so I don't know if we're gonna go swim. So we're just, just chilling now. just came back to the room after being at the beach all day and we're like true Spaniards now. We're going to grab something to eat at 9 p.m. That's how they do it. So we're gonna go grab, I'm looking for a bocadillo, a jamón bocadillo con queso. Hopefully we can find one and Chase is going for the cheesecake we had last night again. It was super good. So we're gonna head to Old Town and grab some bread. day three and our final day here in Spain and we're gonna go on a free walking tour provided by our hotel <laughs> we're gonna go to the beach and we're gonna we're gonna go to dinner at my host family's house so let's go a wedding a girl walked down the aisle is I can't believe we were just tourists in the background of that it's so, it's so crazy we just finished with our tour and it was really fun our guide's name was Ignacio and it was free with our hotel and it was super good and I learned so much even though I lived here for six months before I learned so much now we're going to hike to the Christ statue on top of the hill and get a good viewpoint. And maybe after we'll hit the beach, maybe we'll do a little shopping, we don't know yet. But tonight we have dinner with my host family, so that's going to be super fun. family's house. I'm a little nervous because my Spanish is not as good as it once was and they don't speak English but I'm really excited to see them. It's gonna be really fun. This was my building. 
and I lived here. I just texted my house mom because I can't remember the number. This is my little neighborhood. Right there, at the end of the street, was a little school I used to teach at. Are you making fun of my flowers? I got my house mom dried flowers because the real flower place is closed. It's making fun of me. Go to the top of the hill and cut a whole peony bush. <laughs> it's free. It's true. Nope. We got these little tiny, cute dried flowers. Can't show up empty handed. Might be an American thing, but didn't want to risk it. <laughs> Say hello! <laughs> Rocky! <laughs> Say hello! <laughs> Rocky, hello! Hello! Rocky, Rocky. Hello. 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 Chase. <laughs> Very fun. Muy divertido. <laughs> okay, Four? yeah. How do you feel? You just got to meet or see your host family again after six years. Oh, my heart is full. It's like sad to leave them. Like I feel really sad that I'm had to say goodbye to them. They're, I really like they're them. very sweet. They're really good they really, people. They huh? seem they really liked you. And, welcomed you back in right away. And I can't remember how much they remembered about me. That was just yeah. really special. But Gave us some jamon. Yeah. Some Tortilla de patata. Patata. Jamon. Got to see them and hang out and that was really cool and special. Their dog bit me. <laughs> he used to bite me too. And he used to pee all over my stuff. Bit my hand. Are but you okay? that was cool. You did a really good job of talking in 100% Spanish for the last two hours with these people. <laughs> it was really, it was exhausting. My, my brain, my brain was kind of blowing smoke. <laughs> that was fun. Thanks for being a trooper with me. I just wish I could have contributed to the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> you were a handsome face though, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, it was just a piece of meat just shoveling <laughs> ammo in my mouth. <laughs> feel so awkward. That was really fun. I could follow the conversation. I knew everything you guys were talking about for the most part, like the general parts of it. I just like, I couldn't, you know, all the filler words, you know, I knew like, yeah, meat, but like, this meat is really good or something. Like all that, the little ands and does and all the little stuff is tough. Yeah. But I could see I just being immersed in it would be, you'd, You'd pick it up. Your brain, like my brain was starting to put things together, like from the beginning of the dinner to the end, like I was already understanding. You're getting more. better? Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah, I, you snapped right back into it. I thought, you know, the amount of Spanish I've heard you speak in the last two years has been nothing. You were impressed with me then? Yeah, no, you sat right down and like you just started, I was like, this is going to be awful <laughs> because I can't do anything and if Ali's struggling, but you didn't struggle at all, it was, so it was just me though. Couldn't say anything. So well, was, thanks, honey. They make it easy. They help you through it when you don't know a word. It does, yeah. They, well, yeah, they were very, like, they could. They helped you through I mean, it. For them being able to do that, they really didn't speak any English. I know, I told they don't, you. Like, I didn't hear, like, a, like any English word. They don't speak them. English. They speak Basque and Spanish. Okay. Well, that was really fun. Cultural experience. I'm very, I'm sad to be leaving, to be honest, but my heart is very full. That was a really special thing. I'm really glad you got to experience that with me. Yeah, that was cool. That was, I mean, that was neat. And now they suit up and then head out to one o'clock in the morning, I guess. I know. We're like, we gotta go to sleep. They're like, we're going out. We're it's like, like, it's 10, it, look around, it's, 10 p.m. and it is oh, bustling. Almost 10 30 p.m. right now and it's like people are just sitting down for dinner. It's true. That's how they roll here. But they don't have to be up tomorrow morning at 4 in the morning. Yeah, this whole country hasn't seen 4 in the morning <laughs> probably a hundred years. <laughs> probably true. All right. Are we... Goodbye Spain. See you later alligator. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> God, get ourselves killed. <laughs> oh, fun. Did you have a favorite part? I know uh, your favorite food was that cake. Yeah, the cheesecake. Phonami now. Um, 
It's just cool. It's just a different flavor of, you know, Europe, which is neat. Was it fun getting to see, like, this little secret place that I have, like, been keeping? Yeah, myself? that was cool. So when you talk about it, I know what the fruit is like. You're, like, the only person in my family or from my sphere that, like, Saw a lot of has seen it. Boobies, which was cool. <laughs> you can't put that in the YouTube video. And now, like, <laughs> that part was a little, little of a cultural shock. Which I like, guess just, you know, one of, one of the parts of travel is culture. And yeah, the topless beach. Topless the beaches. nudity at the beaches was a culture shock for sure. I mean, you do you. Men and women in nudity. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of things to see and try not to stare. <laughs> it's true. A lot of confident women walking around. And yeah, shame. No, no shame from the men either. Yeah. Fun. Ah, bye, San Sebastian. You have a part of my heart forever. Signing off.